As the word spreading about breakthrough, more and more professionals are using breakthrough, recommending it to their clients, and encouraging them to look at their dog's diet with new eyes and maybe take a fresh approach. One of these professionals is Sarah Fisher, and I'm here at her farm just outside Bath to find out about the work that she's doing and how diet plays a part with the dogs that she's working with. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Carolyn. So this place is absolutely amazing. Tell Thank me you. what you do here. I work with an amazing technique called the Tellington Touch and it's an integrated approach to education, handling and rehabilitation and my primary passion is really working with dogs that are struggling in kennels, especially the busy, busy, busy dogs that people can't really touch and so often it is related to what they're actually eating. So how did you start with this? Well, when I first heard about it, I actually thought it was a load of rubbish. Um, but I needed to explore a technique that would help a horse that we had that had fallen as a two-year-old. And to be honest, it completely changed his life. We did lose him last year, but he was 26. And it completely changed my life. And I'm very proud to say that also T-Touch here in the UK has gone on to change and save the lives of countless animals as well. So do you see dogs here or do you go into rescue organisations? How do you work? I work with a lot of uh, small and large rescues around the UK and also abroad. And I also have some of the really grabby bull breed puppies from rescues on Foster. And at the moment I am looking after a dog that was just in the wrong environment. And quite often we can't change the environment, but we can change how an animal responds to that environment. And any way that we can help support that dog, whether it's with its existing owner or a dog that's looking to go onto a new home is fantastic working doing quiet groundwork, body work, but also addressing potential issues within the diet that may be triggering the very behaviours people want to train out of the dog. So when you're working with dogs here, how much of a link do you see between diet and behaviour? We are what we eat and the same is true for our dogs. And my experience is that diet, certain products in that diet, often drive the very behaviours that people are struggling to manage. So when the dog comes here with behaviour problems, how do you first start to look at and address his diet? I want to look at the quality of the coat. I want to look at the posture of the dog too. If a dog's got gut problems, they'll often roach can be a sign of something else too so you don't want to jump to conclusions but one of the easiest things to start changing is the dog's diet. So how would you do that? How would you begin to make those changes? I always think about stripping something back to something really simple and also looking at the whole movement pattern of the dog. Do they become more active or do they become depressed after eating a certain food type? Can they learn? Because so many problems that are related to the gut actually stop dogs being able to digest information as well as digest their food properly. So how does a product like Breakthrough help with that kind of work? I'm so excited by Breakthrough because anything that can support the dog's ability to learn should be in everybody's toolkit. Whether they go to it as a place first of all or not, you need to know that it's there. It's a choice. And when you've got a dog that is able to function, able to learn, enjoys body contact too, because lots of dietary problems linked to dogs that have either itchy skin or find contact on their body really difficult. So they may be so tense in certain body parts that you can never use quiet hand contact as a reward for calm behaviour, as a way of interacting with your dog, as a way of helping your dog settle after a more lively activity. Thank you.